Greetings, dear ones. We are the collective voices of the Essene family of light. Tonight, Joseph of Arimathea is present and will be the oracle for tonight's message. He is here representing the Essene community and wishes to speak about the power of manifestation. Joseph was a powerful manifester as he was the patriarch of the Holy Family and funded the family's travels and all the needs before, during, and after Jeshua's crucifixion. Tonight, he wishes to help each of you to access the power of your own manifestation abilities so that you can achieve your hopes, dreams, and desires. He will lead you into a meditation and open up your divine call channels so you may begin to access your manifestation power as children of Most High. We have been preparing each of you to expand your minds so that you may believe in yourselves and the power of manifestation that is truly your birthright. Shall we begin? Greetings, welcome. Yes, we are the voices of the Essenes. As we have said, Joseph of Arimathea is here as the oracle upon the sea. He has come to share with you the frequency and the energy of the power of manifestation. As has been explained, he was extremely prominent and brought forth so much that was needed not only for the Holy Family, but for the Essene community in terms of their resources and their ability to travel. He was able to tap into his own abilities to manifest during that lifetime because it was needed and it was necessary for the mission of all the Essenes and for Jeshua as well. Tonight, he comes forward to help each of you so that you are able to tap into your own manifestation abilities simply because it is time that the veil be lifted so each of you can be able to live more freely, more abundantly, so that you are able to move forward to bring forth the beautiful gifts and talents that you are here to offer. If he was not able to support the Essene community as he did, very little would have been accomplished with Jeshua's ministry and his travels, but would not have been allowed and it would not have been provided for. For you see, those times were very difficult and there were very little resources. And yet now, as you step forward into your modern day of time, the difficulty that some of you have of believing in your own power and believing in your own self to manifest still is there as a part of your own cellular memory. There is a sense of dependency that many humans have on the external to provide for them or many have employers that provide them with a paycheck. And so in our time, just as in this moment of now, I come to help my family members and all the family members of the Essene community to begin to access these abilities within themselves on a deeper and more profound level. And so now, dear Joseph, will step forward as we, the voices of the seen family of light, stand with you and help to clear the frequencies within your own energetic field so that you can tap in to the seed creation of your own manifestation abilities. Greetings. Yes, it is I, Joseph of Arimathea. I thank you for allowing me to step forward to help each of you tonight. Some of you may remember me, some of you may not, but I come to help assist you for you are all part of the Essene family of light. I continue to be the patriarch of the Essene community. I take my 
role and my position very seriously, just as I did 2,000 years ago, supporting my family, supporting Jesuit's mission, supporting my sister, her children, my children, and all of the children and the community at large. It was a huge responsibility to navigate all that I needed to navigate to help my family be safe and to be able to provide the resources for so many individuals. It was a large community that I supported in my endeavors with my merchant trading. But tonight, as I come to each of you, I see you as a part of my family. You are a part of my family. As I've said, you may not remember me, recognize me, but I know you, I love you, and I am here to help each of you to truly to begin to access the remembrance of your ability as a creator God to be able to manifest and create at will. Just as I did in my time, for it was very unusual how I was able to manifest so much of the resources that I had to manifest the weather, to cooperate in the travel, but we traveled by boat. We traveled extensively to England, to France, to Turkey, to India. These great travels took great focus, concentration, and resiliency. And for you to understand who I am, I come with the knowledge and the same power that I held 2,000 years ago as I come in this moment of now to help you to be able to access your own abilities, gifts, and talents to be able to bring to you the resources that you need, the opportunities that you need, and allow yourself to feel this sense of freedom upon your own soul. And so tonight, I ask you if you so shall to allow me to lead you in a meditation so that we can begin to clear the veil and open up with what we call the divine call channels within you that allow your life force energy to flow through you. And so tonight, if you so shall, please allow me to step forward into your energetic field. And please take a deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe in the energy of the white light of God Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of your beautiful life force energy into your heart chakra. And simply take a deep inhaling breath and breathe into your heart. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into your heart. Trusting and knowing that the energy of your own vital life force energy, what we call the elixir of life, is a very real essence. It is the energy of the God essence that runs through your veins that allows you to continue to remain in your human body, your God essence, your spirit, is indeed most powerful. And as you feel this frequency of your beautiful spirit, as your beautiful life force energy, know that it is omnipresent and that this frequency holds the energy of creation and that you as a creator God and goddess are able to breathe in the power of your own creative abilities to simply jumpstart them so that you can call forth the energy of manifestation of all that you need in this incarnation to complete your mission, be it finances, be it creative ideas, being it good health, being it relationships, opportunities that are coming to avail you. Whatever it is that you are in need of at this time, to step further in to your mission, I am here upon this eve as Joseph of Arimathea, your benefactor, helping you to clear and open up your divine call channels and to clear the veil of forgetfulness from you on a more deeper and more profound level As if like peeling an onion, we are getting at the root core or the seed atom of your true divine essence. And so, dearest one, 
Simply take a deep inhaling breath and breathe in the energy, once again, of the elixir of life, the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in this frequency, breathing in this frequency, breathing in this frequency. Truly, may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you wherever you are. God is and all is well. Breathing in the vibration of peace. Breathing in the vibration of love. And allowing me now to clear and to open up your divine call channel. And releasing a veil around you. Oh yes, the veils are thinning. And you are able to tap into universal consciousness into universal mind, into super consciousness. And as your beautiful higher self truly expands and allows your own consciousness to now be awakened deeper into the beautiful seed core essence of your God, goddess abilities. Simply meaning that you are tapping in to the seed core of creation, that you're tapping into this frequency and this essence of pure creative life force energy. And you're bringing this forth into manifestation and into form, into your physicality, into your consciousness, into your subconsciousness, into your super consciousness, into all aspects of your being. We open up your divine card channel so there's an expansion of your consciousness. There's an expansion of your life force energy that can now tap in to the power of creation, the power of manifestation, more deeply, more profoundly, more efficiently, just as I did in my time. I am here to help you to open up these channels so that you can provide for yourself, your family, again, creating the opportunities, the resources, the creative ideas, and the relationships that are needed for each of you to move forward. As if there is a divine blueprint of your individual lives that I see before me. I see your individual divine blueprints for this incarnation. Just as I was able to see Joshua's divine blueprint for his life 2,000 years ago, and as I was able to support his mission, I was able to tap in prior to his birth his etheric blueprint is being able to lead his soul destiny and divine pathway. And again, with your permission, I am able to tap into your etheric divine blueprint and open up the channel and the opportunities and the way for each of you to clear out those limitations, old beliefs, false programming that keep you from your ability to manifest. And so as I come into your energy field and see each of your etheric blueprints, your design to see your soul design for this incarnation, I am here now, as I have said, to clear for each of you as the collective voices of the Essenes, the Essenes family of light are assisting as well, as if this is like a universal clearing for each of you but it is an individual clearing as well. This may sound confusing, but I am trying to help each of you to clear the obstacles that no longer serve you so that you can manifest. I see each of your divine potentials. I see your soul pathway, and I'm able to see the obstacles that are in front of you even if you all are not aware of your individual obstacles or you're not aware of your limitations or belief system. And so I'm here to help you to clear those so you can manifest and move forward. I know how frustrating it is for many of you because it's confusing to be in an earthly body and try to manifest in this dense energy of your third dimensional frequency. And many of you remember being pure spirits and being able to manifest and create at will. It is difficult in the human form. And so I'm clearing this veil of forgetfulness from each of you and opening up your divine call, your energy channels to the divine, to the great creator. So I once again ask you each to take a deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe in the energy of the white light of God, bringing it into your heart, freeing yourself 
of any struggles or strife. For I, Joseph of Arimathea, are here, just as I was helping my Essene community and dear Joshua 2,000 years ago. I continue to use my abilities, my gifts, my talents, my strengths, my connections. Should you not be surprised when you're able to access or to manifest quicker, easily, effortlessly, as if like magic is happening for you, that as you think, you create just in what we call the heavenly realms, and you're able to use your thought to manifest instantaneously, you're able to do it now here on the earthly plane. Be mindful of what you ask for. Create, manifest, and make whole all that is your individual birthright. Each of you, again, have a, what we call a spiritual bank of all your good deeds and riches. And so tonight we open up this bank and allow you to receive the blessing for all the good that you have done in this lifetime, through all lifetimes, through all dimension, time, and space. And so sen- simply and gently take a long, deep breath and breathe into your heart knowing that you are more powerful than you can imagine yourself to be, that you are a creator God of grand proportion, that all you've created so far in this incarnation is simply a small tidbit of what you're able to manifest as I open up your divine call channel so the energy can flow through you like a babbling stream, a babbling brook that then moves its ways down to, to the river as if it is like the energy of divine flow. Your divine cloud channels are opening, like water flowing. The energy is flowing through your own energetic channels, your divine call, your life force energy. If there is stagnation in any part of your physical body, or mental, or emotional body, those channels are opened. So the flow of your own life force energy and your creator God and goddess energy can run through your veins and run through your beautiful chakra system, your divine call channels, and all aspects of your being with ease and grace. And so simply breathe into your heart, trusting, allowing, and receiving this beautiful gift tonight that I, Joseph of Erethim, bring to you, which is your own birthright. Just as I had the ability to manifest I bring this gift to you tonight, opening up the opportunities so that you're able to do it as easily as I did. Without my manifestation powers 2,000 years ago, the course of our seeing family and the opportunities we had would be very diminished. And that was never to be allowed. And even now in your current civilization, prosperity and abundance and the creative life force energy is alive and well, just as it always has been, because of your beliefs and your fears, your insecurities, your doubts, within yourself, it's been difficult for you to fully call forth these manifestation powers. And as I've said, in your current civilization, where many of you are struggling, you are alone, trying to do it all, and even if you have a husband or a wife or family members, it is still difficult it is difficult to believe that you are a creator God and goddess, fully equipped and designed to bring all that you need to you in this moment of now. So truly, once again, may you breathe in this frequency into your heart and breathe in the light, breathe in the peace, breathe in the tranquility, allowing me to continue to clear and lift the veil as our collective family of the Essene family of light come and support each of you. Breathing, as they say, the breath of life into your being, revitalizing your life force energy so you feel renewed, energetic, strengthened, hopeful, powerful, having clarity of mind to be able to continue to place your attention and your focus on opening the door that leads your soul pathway to great success. If now you are seeing yourself going through an open door 
one by one by one, the doors begin to open for each of you, as if you're going through a revolving door, and the doors open easily and effortlessly, and you can place your limitations, your fears, your worries aside, truly knowing that you have the power to create and manifest all that is yours to receive. And so once again, take another deep inhaling breath and simply begin to breathe in this frequency. Breathe in the love. Breathe in the peace. Breathe in the light of the God essence and the goddess essence of Father, Mother, God that lives, breathes, within your very essence. So know that as you allow this opportunity to come forth to you upon this day, that you have accepted this gift of transformational healing upon your own soul, allowing yourself to trust that you're able to manifest and the pathways have been opened. And all you have to do is believe and so shall you receive as you, again, are creator gods of grand manifestation and truly know at this time that I Joseph of Arimathea will always be with you and I will be your benefactor. I am here to help you to succeed and to bring to you, each of you, all that you need in this incarnation to succeed just as I did with Joshua and my family and my esteemed family of light. It was my responsibility then and I took it very seriously and I take it seriously now for each of you as you are all a part of the great design. You are here to help the collective move forward and your life, your mission are indeed most powerful and most important. And so accept this beautiful gift that I bring to you upon this day as we, the collective voices of the Essenes and myself, cherish, honor, and love each of you for your family and we are here to help you support you in all that you are able to achieve and to accomplish we are here to support you deeply and most profoundly I say that I honor you I love you and I thank you for allowing me to help assist you upon this eve go forward and trust as I take your hand and show you the way to the doorways for your success, for your beautiful soul pathway to unfold with grace and ease. Go forward now, my children. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Prepare yourself to receive. Go forward with a beautiful open heart. Know that you are loved. That you're a part and parcel of our family of light, of our seen community, that you are never alone, you are never forsaken. And I, Joseph of Arimathea, am watching over you. This is truth. Call upon me in times of need, if you so desire, and I will continue to support you and help you and help you to be the grand manifester that you are. Go forward now, dearest children. Be still, be still, be still, and know that you are loved. And we thank you, Joseph. We thank the voices of the Essenes. We thank all the beings of light that have stepped forward to help us upon the sea. We thank you, Father, Mother, God, as we call forth again the energy, the essence of our own vital life force energy, our creator life force energy, the elixir of life, opening now so that we can manifest, create, and make whole all that is ours as we complete this journey here in our individual soul pathways. And this we give our grace, and so it is. And this completes the transmission. So this is an opportunity now if anybody has anything they wanted to share. So just keep track of your own thought forms and simply just hold that focus within yourself that you're able to manifest what you need to accomplish to the rest of your incarnation. Yes, we have a tendency to doubt or think that we don't know how to do it or we're not worthy or it can't happen uh, for a variety of reasons. But he's telling us that he's there to support us with our individual pathway, just as he did with Joshua and the 
the Essene family. So it would be interesting to see what every person is able to manifest for themselves. So my Sisterhood of the Rose class will be next Thursday, the 21st, and then the next Essene class will be December 10th. And then this Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern time, I'm going to be on Tiffany's uh, podcast uh, talking about my book, Divine Union, and the continuation of, of uh, the new key codes for the Divine Union that Jeshua brought forth yesterday in our Mary Magdalene class. So I'll be doing that um, this Sunday. Uh, and then Tuesday the 19th at 10 a.m. Eastern, I'll be on Sherry Lord's podcast uh, talking about the same thing. Where do we find your prod- podcast, Tiffany? Tiffany Gunn. She's probably gone. She'll 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 send a link and I'll send it to everybody. Okay, thank you. Or, or I'll make a note. She's probably trying to get ready for a show. I think there's a show she does at at eight o'clock in about ten minutes. But yeah, I'll I'll have the I'll send the link out with the recording. Thank you. When she sends it. Out. So, did anybody have anything they want to share about the transmission? They feel any energy shifting within you or feel any connections with Joseph? Yeah. This is Joan. I just felt a pressure on my chest. It was kind of cool. Felt pressure on your head? Is that you said? On my chest. Just a pressure. Oh, oh chest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I just, this is Sonny. I just wanted to say thank you. That was like the most, I mean, amazing incredible i feel so blessed to be on this call it was really really special well, thank you sonny for being on i appreciate it yeah nice to have you thank you hey lee uh, it's Juliet. i just wanted to say that um super yummy amazing energy just feeling it all flowing through and um super blissed out I'm grateful thank you You're welcome and arlene did you have anything you wanted to share I just felt utter peace. I just felt the white light coming through my crown chakra into my heart, into my body. And I, it was almost like a cleansing to just open up to something new. It was wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for this. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's amazing how... We have so many beings that are looking after us and trying to help us that we don't even know about. So when I heard Joseph was coming, I'd worked with him before, but I was like, oh, he's coming tonight. So it's like, I uh, heard that earlier in the day before I did my little written transmission. So yeah, he's the one who orchestrated everything for Jeshua's ministry financially and all the travels. It's like, uh, he was the benefactor, so... He wants to help us. So thank you, thank you, Joseph. So if nobody has anything else, then I guess we'll just say good evening. And um, again, the next listening class is December 10th, and the Sisterhood class is next Thursday on the 21st. And everybody just have a great night, and just continue to hold your attention on the fact that you are grand manifesting God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Love and All right.